don't see, um, I know I haven't been posting in a while, but I was taking some very much needed time for myself. And you guys, I have just become an RA, so basically I've been super busy and it's only been a week. <laughs> but the 1st of January, I was packing up my old room and the 2nd, I actually moved out that room and I moved into this room, which is, I'm going to do a dorm tour later. But I'm, it's still a work in progress. I still have a lot to get done. Alright y'all, I'm hungry. I didn't have anything to eat, so I made a smoothie. For Christmas break, I spent a lot of time with my family. And, you know, I was just trying to, you know, I feel like I spend so much time on the internet and things that I don't really just unconnect from everything. So that's kind of what my time away was. Just me unconnecting and just spending lots of time with my family and stuff like that. And now I have this new job as an RA, and I definitely will be a lot more busier than I previously was. I previously was last semester. That's pretty much what's been going on with me. So this video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me. I originally was just going to do a Snapchat Q and A, but I'm like, let me do a chit chat get ready with me because you guys really liked my last one, and a lot of you asked me to do more. So I'm going to do that for you guys. People Snapchatted me some questions, and people also sent a question topic thing on Instagram. If you guys do not know, my new Instagram name is yt .tommy Marie. Um, Yeah, yt period Tommy Marie. That's my Instagram name for my YouTube channel. I'm just going to go ahead and answer all of the questions and everything like that. First and foremost, I am going to be using my e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. I use this one a lot. Is that picking up right? And then I'm going to use the blemish control one. This was the first one I got, but I'm going to use this one on my forehead. I'm going to use this one in, like, my T-zone area. If that makes sense. I've been breaking out kind of my forehead, so, yeah. But the rest of my skin is pretty much clearing up, guys. I'm so pleased and everything. I can tell that my dark spots are fading, which is great. I like this one because it's clear. I always say that, but, yeah. So, let's, let me find a question. Let me find something. Okay, I'm just going to wrap this in while I look through these questions that you guys have asked me. If someone asked me, you know, what's my major and where do I see myself in five years? So if you guys are, are not familiar or do not know, then my major is accounting. And in five years, I would like to see myself moving up in my position as a CPA in somebody's firm <laughs> somewhere. Maybe I have like a management position or I don't know, something of that nature. I definitely want to be a CPA. I'm not sure if I want to travel or not, but but definitely something with being a CPA, I would definitely like to see that in my future. <laughs> in high school, you know, accounting was my thing, so I hope that it continues to be like that. And again, you know, I, I will be in my actual major in the fall. Someone asked me, what's my skincare regimen? Um, It's pretty simple, actually. It's working, but I do relapse sometimes. I like to use black soap, and I buy it on eBay for like $3 a bar. Oh, guys, I'm not going to be using foundation in this video just because I don't feel like I need foundation for real. I'm just going to be using my LA Girl Concealer in Fall, and this is my life. I love this. But yeah, black soap. I wash with black soap. I use my Sun and Clear Elite. Um, first, I rub the black soap in with my hands, and then I put a little bit of soap on my Sun and Clear Elite. Then I just exfoliate my skin with the brush with the face brush and then I I rinse the product off my face and then I go in with um, I go with my white towel I only use white towels on my face so I go and rub all that soap off and then I rinse off this towel and then I rinse the towel in cold water and then I go in and I splash my face with cool water as well and then I dry pat dry my face with that same towel because it's now cooler and you know cooled cold cool water basically closes your pores and it's supposed to be good for your skin so that's what I do now I always finish off with cold water after I finish cleansing my face or whatever I go in with some alcohol usually I go in with sea breeze on a cotton round and I do um my toning Walmart has not been restocking their original sea breeze so I've been doing alcohol like 50% and, and go over my face with that moment and then I go in with some tea tree oil on any pimples that I have and I cover them with tea tree oil kind of burns but I like it I don't dilute it or anything it doesn't bother my skin too much besides the basic beginning burning stages but yeah um, after I do that I go in with my clean and clear 
Dual Action Moisturizer. <laughs> Mix that with some rose hip oil, rose hip seed oil, and then I moisturize my face with that. When I didn't have a moisturizer, I just used rose hip oil, but I do like having a moisturizer. So yeah, it sounds like a lot, but I promise you all, it's really not that much. All the products I'm using are kind of natural except the moisturizer. Everything else is like natural of the earth, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not like super, a lot of chemicals or anything like that. And I definitely see, have been seeing differences in my skin. It's just sometimes I relapse and let's say I don't wash my face at night. I'm not wearing makeup a lot, so I just go to sleep and then I wake up, I wash my face. And there might be a pimple or so, but... I do try to wash my face morning and night, but sometimes I do relapse like I'm human, so, like, <laughs> I make mistakes. This is a good one. I like this question. It says, if you could stop an issue in our society, what issue would you stop and why? If I could stop an issue in our society, can I say hatred? Is that an issue? I feel like hatred is such a strong thing in our society, you know? People, they don't know someone, and they think the absolute worst of them. And I feel like that's not fair because you don't know that person to sit here and say, you know, bad things about them. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never, I don't even know how to contour my nose. So just disregard this. Like it's going to be in the video, but just disregard it. But yeah, I feel like hatred is a major thing in today's time. And I don't like that because it's kind of ridiculous that we... That a lot of people can't accept someone because of the way they look or the way they talk or their religion. Like, why is that even a thing? Like, the Lord preaches, you know, love for everyone and they're hating people. And I don't know if you guys, I saw this on Instagram the other day when this woman, she was, I think she was of Muslim religion. And she basically talks with the accent, but she speaks English well. She was at a bar enjoying herself, you know, speaking in her native tongue with her friends or somebody. And this lady attacked her and like literally attacked, like this white lady attacked her. And I think that is crazy. And she was basically at the trial. She was saying, you know, I forgive you and everything like that. And that was really strong of her. And just saying that you forgive somebody can be really powerful because I was watching this movie last night called October Baby that my best friend made me watch. She didn't make me watch, but she really let me watch it. So I watched it. If you guys have Netflix or something, you can probably find it online. But to watch this movie called October Baby, the meaning is really good. Like, let it go, forgive. Like I'm saying, like, people, I don't understand how they hold on to these things because it's so crazy. I'm really... I'm bad, y'all. I'm not really the best at talking <laughs> and doing makeup. <laughs> I apologize for all the stops and pauses that I've been doing. Oh, but I'm using LA Girl Concealer and Espresso. So that's why I would stop hatred. Like, is that an issue? I mean, like, can that honestly be stopped, though? Like, they say racism and everything. But it's deeper than just racism. Like, hatred. People are hated for just being themselves, like from where they come from that they've done nothing wrong okay so here's another question and someone asked me how do i study how do you keep the stress and anxiety levels down before an exam thank you for responding and keep up the good work okay how do i study i used to um like i said if i'm studying with friends then we'll all like go to the library and get one of those group study rooms and stay there like all day especially if all of us have exams me and my roommate, um, even though I'm not roommates with her anymore, we have we take the same math class at the same time. So we're probably going to be doing that a lot for our math, just going to the library in the study rooms and getting our study on. But besides that, sometimes I cannot study in my own space. I get too distracted and it just doesn't work for me. So just going to the library and sitting in one of those cubicles just by myself where it's kind of blocked up. You can't see the person in front of you or beside you. Each little cubicle has a little spot for your laptop, at least two plugs or something for your phone or something like that. And I like going to the library and just studying there. And I honestly let the time fly by. And I can be there for so long just in my own little world trying to study, get work done. And that honestly works for me just getting out of my comfort zone. Because if I'm in my room, I tend to get really sleepy. But at the library, I never experience this tiredness that I feel when I'm in my room. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to leave my room. <laughs> so that's pretty much how I study. You definitely have to do what works for you. So for me, I have to get out of my personal space that I'm always in and just get out. Someone asked me, would you collab with an up-and-coming YouTuber? I definitely would, but I do want our videos to be similar and 
Yeah, I would definitely have to have, you know, someone who has a similar audience to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, my audience is pretty much 18 or 24. So, I want somebody who's in the same category as me, who makes similar videos. Like, I don't want to collab with, like, a high schooler or something like that. Just because, you know, we're in two different scenarios in our life. And that just wouldn't work for me personally. But I probably would if I really liked their content and I really enjoyed their videos. I definitely would. So my best friend asked the question and she says, what are your spiritual goals? Honestly, my spiritual goals are to get closer with God, pray every day because I honestly don't pray every day. I would like to pray every day. I just want every day for me to spend some type of time with the Lord and just, you know, have a worship session or just a debriefing sometime. I can just come home, have like... 15 minutes maybe to an hour just to spend time with the Jesus and God like that's what I really want that's what I really want just to spend more time with the Lord because even though I talk about him a lot and you know I do I am thankful for everything that he's given me but I do want to spend more time with him like he's my savior like someone asked me um what advice would you give a high school junior applying to colleges etc Definitely go somewhere that you want to go. Do not go somewhere because your friends are going there or because your parents want you to. Definitely have make sure that whatever you want to do in college, even if you don't know, make sure that you have some interests in mind and that they offer those programs. Because don't get to a school and they don't have what you're going for there and you're just stuck there for no reason you have to transfer. Y'all, this is really good. It's basically vitamin water, the dragon fruit kind. And some mangoes, papaya, and it was something else. Mango, papaya, and pineapples. And that's all that's in here, and it's so good. It's a great value card. I don't know, but all I know is it's so good. Also, think about your price range and if, you know, it's going to be beneficial for you. If you like sports and everything like that, um, if you want to have an active social life, make sure those things are offered on that campus. Don't get to a school that may have your program, but... The social life may not be what you want or the, you know, it might not be there. So make sure all these things are present when you're looking for these colleges. But make sure that you definitely apply to ones that you really want to apply to because you want to go there. And not just because your parents want you to go there or your friends are going there. Do it for you. That's all I have to say about that. <clears throat> okay, someone asked me, what surprises can we look forward to on your channel for the new year? I definitely don't know. <laughs> um, I definitely want to get do a lot of DIYs and maybe RA life update videos. Definitely lots of more fashion videos. Probably gonna try to do more makeup videos and things. I'm gonna be trying a lot of new things this year, so I can't really say exactly what you guys can look forward to, but just know that there should be a lot of new content, very different from what I normally do. Someone asked me what college I attend. I attend Auburn University at Montgomery. And they also asked me, how long does it take you to do your hair? By the way, you're awesome. Thank you. Um, My natural hair takes me maybe an hour or two, depending on if I'm washing, conditioning, or if I'm twisting. Definitely can take, you can get into hours. But if I'm doing like a weave or, you know, making a wig, it probably can take like a few hours too. So it just depends. I would say like at least two to three hours. That's how long it takes me to do my hair. Sometimes my natural hair can be easier. I will say that. <laughs> Okay, now on to the Instagram questions. I haven't done anything, guys. Like, I've just been sitting here talking, not doing nothing. To be honest, I've been trying to get this nose contour down, and it's not working. <laughs> I honestly really need to get my eyebrows together, y'all. But ugh, I've been struggling with that, too. Like, I'm always struggling with my eyebrows now. Like, I used to be good at it. Now I don't even touch them, for real. I do want to clean them up, though, because they look a little ratchet, especially under here. But, I mean... I'm going for natural brow, so let's just say that. We're going for natural brow. This time I'm using my It, it Cosmetics Brow Power. This is the universal brow pencil. So I'm just going to fill it on the bottom mostly. Like I said, I'm not trying to do an actual brow like I normally would do. So this time I'm doing something simple. I might go to the movies today, so I definitely want something subtle. I'm not trying to do too much today. You might ask me, what am I going to do different this year from last? Different this year than last year. I definitely am going to get more involved, definitely because I am an RA now and we have to plan events now and stuff. So even though I was kind of involved last year, this year I'm definitely going to be more involved. Smacks me, what is one goal that I want to, um, 
that I want to do this year. I definitely want to lose, not lose any weight, but basically get toned at the gym. I used to go to the gym a lot freshman year, and this year I haven't been doing that, you know? I used to enjoy going to the gym, so definitely want to get back into the gym. Someone asked me, how are you juggling school and other things, and what has priority? School definitely has priority. Um, how I'm juggling other things, I make time when I can, but school is definitely comes first. I'm not going to put my work to the backboard. So basically, even with being an RA now, school does still come first. And they definitely let you know that before starting, like, hey, school is your priority. But, you know, my RA responsibilities do come next after that, and then everything else comes, you know, later. So that's pretty much how I'm juggling things with that. Um, that's how it is. School, no, school, RA, everything else, YouTube, friends, all that, that comes after that, especially this year because... It's getting, it's going to be a lot more difficult, but I'm definitely good at, you know, managing my time. So, I feel like I will be good at all of this stuff. Someone said boys. What y'all want to know about boys? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Y'all always ask about boys or if I'm talking to someone. Not on a serious note. I'm really not talking to anyone on a serious note. Like I said, my priorities are school, my new job, basically, and my YouTube. So, I don't have much time much room for anything else and I'm not saying like, YouTube is my life but YouTube is something that I really enjoy doing I like making videos so that's what I like to do I just can't see myself in a relationship right now and as for boys what about them like I don't understand like I just don't understand like can y'all elaborate next time what about boys <laughs> so I said again plans post college definitely I see myself you know being a CPA in my own office you know chilling maybe traveling on you know and stuff like that I definitely can see that. Plans post-college, definitely have a job. I definitely like to see a job in the bank, so I'm going to start networking a lot my junior year. So I have a secure position by my senior year. So when I graduate, I have a job waiting for me. Probably going to start an internship, too. So I will have a job, whatever. So that's my plan. That's my plan. <laughs> okay, let's get on to some eyeshadow because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm wasting so much time. This video is probably going to be super long, but I did want to ask you guys these questions and a chit chat get ready with me but i'm just super duper don't even know what i what i got going on like i can't talk in my last one it was just topics but this time it was questions so i, I was thinking about them and a lot of you guys asked some really great questions so yeah so let's see where were we but i be seeing everybody like dusting their primer now like they be going over their powder they primer with the powder so i'm gonna do it too i'm gonna do it <laughs> I'm going to be using some of these ColourPop items. I like this one, Elixir. It's kind of like orange. This one I'm definitely going to put above the crease. So something that happened in 2016 that I wish I could take into 2017 with me. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, everything good that happened to me has been, everything good that happened to me has been carried over so I don't really know about that one you know that's a really hard question for me so those were all of the questions that I had and honestly you guys ask really good questions so don't be a, don't be shy or too scared to send me a question because I'm definitely gonna answer guys don't worry Let me just go ahead and powder the rest of my face. You guys know I'm using my Sephora. 
compressed powder in 55 foot group. I'm gonna use my Island Iman lip liner and spice. So guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed. If you have any more questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. As always, subscribe to my channel if you're interested and like this video if you enjoyed it. And lastly, if you want to be notified when I post videos, so please turn on post notifications. Just that little bell, that little bell by the subscribe button so you can guys stay updated when I upload. So thank you all for watching and I will definitely see you on my next one. Bye!